Hey art friends, today we are going to draw an atom. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I don't know much about atoms, but we're gonna try. And I'm sure their teachers know a lot more, or their parents. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers, and because of that, we're also using marker paper. This helps keep our markers lasting a lot longer. So if you're using the same set or any alcohol-based marker, you wanna make sure that you're using this paper too. All right, let's start by drawing the nucleus, and we're gonna make up the nucleus by adding protons and also neutrons. And protons are a positive charge, I believe. So first, let's start by drawing a circle. This could be our first proton. Then we're going to draw neutrons and also protons and mix them up, but we're just going to draw circles and it kind of looks like grapes and we're going to draw them overlapping. So the first one, maybe we draw it right here. We're drawing a circle the same size, but we're only drawing part of it because it's overlapping. Let's draw the next one. I'm going to draw it right here and we're kind of going around this first proton that we drew and let's draw another one. And this time we're even drawing less because it's behind two, and then we're gonna draw, oh, let, we could even come over here, maybe draw this one. Almost looks like we're drawing a flower too. Yes, and then let's draw one more right here to complete our nucleus. So we have protons and also neutrons. Neutrons um, don't have a positive or a negative, they're neutral, right? I, I think so. Sure. Next, we're gonna draw the electrons, but we're also gonna draw the orbit. And to draw that, it's a circle, but we're drawing it foreshortened or three-dimensional. Di three so we're gonna draw it squished. We're gonna start here and we can draw it coming around the nucleus like this and then back up. And we're gonna try to make it symmetrical, um, the left and the right and also top and bottom, but that's okay if it's not. We're just using our free hand. Yes, perfect, except we're missing the electron. Let's just draw a circle that's on this orbit. Oh, it looks like a planet. Yeah, all right, now let's draw the next orbit and we're gonna draw it diagonal. So maybe I'll start here. We're gonna come out like this, we'll come back and then start or end where we started. Yeah, that looks awesome, good job. Let's add the electron and these have negative charges. And then I'm gonna turn my paper like this diagonal so I can draw the last orbit. I'm gonna draw it coming out like this, around, and then connect back where I started. Nice job, you did it. I think that makes it a little easier to turn your paper. Mm -hmm. And then we can also draw the electron on that orbit. And that's it, we did it. We finished drawing our atom, it will, except we're not completely done. Nope, we still need to color it. Yes, this part will speed up, so remember you can pause the video, take extra time to color yours also. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our atoms, and I love how it turned out. Thanks, I like how yours turned out too. Thank you. Now you guys can pause the video to match your same coloring, or color any way you want. You could also add more things to your drawing. Like more atoms, or you can label it. Oh yeah, like a diagram. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, and the little guys on the outside in orbit are the electrons. We hope you had fun drawing your atoms. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.